All right, we're talking football now on the Sportsbank Zone. Match week six in the Jamaica Premier League got on the way on Wednesday with two matches, while five remaining games are taking place today. Three of those fixtures have been completed. So let's have a look at the results. Wednesday's matches, done beholden 2-1 over Limehall Academy and Harborview 1-1 with Portmore United. And then earlier today in three o'clock games, Humberline getting the better of Montego Bay United by three goals to two. Tivoli Gardens losing 1-0 to Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant going five from five at the start of the season. The defending champions in fine form. And Veer United going down 3-1 to Cavalier. Some nine goals um, scored today alone in the Premier League. And there are two matches um, still to come. One is in progress now and then later on. A massive game between Arnett Gardens and Waterhouse. Uh, Mariah Ramarak, um, lovely games yesterday. I want to start with the Don Beholden Lime Hall game. Had a lot of action in that one. Don Beholden winning by two goals to one, scoring their first goal of the season. Took them, what, 372 minutes oh. of football before they finally got a goal. There were two penalties missed in that game. One penalty missed by either team. Um, one penalty scored as well to get Lime Hall their only goal in the contest. And then Nicholas Nelson yes. scoring a couple goals um, for the Dun Beholden team to get them the victory. And that is the first of the Nicholas Nelson goals. It is the second one, Mariah, that I want to look at most because I think that second goal deserves to be in the Sportsmax Class Moment nominations for Friday. But right. this is a game that had pretty much everything. And I just want to add, it's the same Nicholas Nelson that missed the penalty for yes. Don Beholden. So for me, that makes the story even sweeter, Ricardo, because in the second minute, you miss that penalty and then you come back and you ensure that you do what's necessary, you step up, you don't allow it to get the better of you yeah. and you ensure that you carry your team home, literally, on your back. Yeah, and there is the second goal that I was talking about. Just have a look at this. He shapes as if he was going to... Um, here it is. He was going to... Shapes as if he was going to make the pass. Then he decided against that and slotted it in beautifully. Yeah. Um, I would be surprised if that didn't make... Um, our Sportsmax Class Moment nominations um, for this Friday. But an important victory for Don Beholden. They would have wanted that. They would have identified this Lime All game as a game that they would want to leave with three points. And although they went behind, um, yeah, to turn up and still win it was important. By the way, Lime All scored a penalty um, through Sajay Anderson, but they also missed a penalty and it was Sajay Anderson as well. So they missed two pen well, they missed one penalty and you had a penalty miss from Dun Beholden as well. So two penalties missed in the contest, one scored. So three penalties given overall, <laughs> three goals eventually scored. And as I said, it had pretty much everything in that encounter. The other game, 1-1 between Harborview and Portmore, Portmore United. Um, Portmore United um, getting their goal from Clayton Peck. Um, this is, uh, uh, yeah, that was the first goal from Clayton Peck. This is the Harborview goal um, that we're having a look at from the penalty spot. And I think Shaquille Bradford does a brilliant job in the of, 70th minute. Yeah, of selling this one to the referee. And the referee very much bought it. I don't think that is a penalty um, anywhere in the world. Um, and yeah, how of you very fortunate to get away with that one. And for, for Portmore, they would feel as if, you know, they missed the opportunity because if they had won this one, they would join Mount Pleasant at the top of the t table. But instead, they're in third spot with 10 points, Ricardo. And I think that is important because the thing is, they started with a dominant performance. They started the game dominant. Then, of course, it ended in a draw and it costed them being league leaders. Yeah, well, Mount Pleasant would still be in front now because, of course, Today's they won game, yeah. today. So yeah, yeah. they are on maximum 15 points so far and are pretty much sailing. I wonder if we have um, the Portmore United goal because I thought it was brilliant work from Martin Davis um, that led to the goal. Um, yeah, here it is. Just have a look at this. Look at the run, first of all, from Martin Davis. Bam goes to the byline, does brilliantly to keep the ball in play, and then the cross is really good. And that is what set up the goal for Clayton Peck, who said that he wasn't even um, supposed to be in the starting lineup, but 
um, there was an injury and the coach had confidence in him to give him the opportunity and he definitely made use of it so a 1-1 scoreline there in that game and yeah brilliant work here from martin davis spent some time in spain as a youth martin davis when he was at st george's college um, um, there was a lot said about his quality yeah. in his youth days and who knows maybe now um, we will see the realization of what many individuals felt um, could be a top quality player for jamaica mount pleasant they just keep rolling mm -hmm. on they're seeming on beatable at the moment and they won again today and the thing is mount pleasant is doing this with class yeah. because just one goal take it easy get over the line and we get ready for the next game so it's not as if ricardo that they have to do a lot against the teams that they're facing um just a one two goal to get them across the line and we saw that from them again today yeah and you know what it's not easy um it, it's important for Mount Pleasant that having won the league last season that they have made a strong start to the campaign um, because what it does is that it sets them up really well to guarantee themselves a, a top six position and what we've become accustomed to in the Jamaica Premier League um, even with the leading teams there is a point of the season where you might have a dip because it's extremely difficult to play at this level for seven eight months without having a little dip um, and yes it's a fantastic start but ultimately because of the format of the jamaica premier league it's all about your ability to peak for the playoffs so we see mount pleasant at the moment dominating their what five points clear at the top at this stage um, but it all comes down to when the, the, the when the final six teams are decided and you get into the playoffs it's part of the reason i am not a massive fan of the format because i don't think it rewards the best team over the course of seven or eight months but having said that and i've always said this i understand why the format is the way it is for the jamaican context um, because you don't exactly get a full house match in match out um, but when you get to the playoffs um, it, it is significantly more exciting and entertaining and the fans are out um, and there is something special about having a one-off final and all of that. So I completely understand all of that. Massive game coming up yeah. um, tonight, Mariah. <laughs> Waterhouse versus Arnett yeah. Gardens. This is like mm, Manchester United versus Liverpool. What about Man City? No, I would have said Man City, but um, not in the same city. Not yeah. in the same area. Understand. I've been to Arnett one of those Gardens. matches, so I understand the fans are out in their numbers. Yes. It's a rivalry, a historic rivalry. Mm -hmm. And for me, you have to be at the venue to yes. understand how exciting and thrilling, that's the correct word, the matches are. Because it's like the game is going on, but the fans are having their own the match on the side. The yeah. atmosphere is, is special. And you know what, remember when Xavier Gilbert was with us and I asked him <laughs> whether it was more difficult to coach the Reggae Girls or to Arnett. coach Arnett Gardens. And he said it was more difficult to coach Arnett Gardens. I wonder if he still feels that way two or three weeks later. I'm sure he does. I doubt he'll change his mind. He knew what he was saying when he said that. Yeah. All right. I, I wonder. Yeah, it's going to be a good game later on. Arnett Gardens versus Waterhouse. Um, it will be live on Sportsmax, is it? Or is it Sportsmax 2? There is a game going on live on Sportsmax 2 as we speak. You can switch to that as soon as Mariah and I are out of here at 6 o'clock. <laughs> but don't leave us. You have to wait, okay? Yeah, let's, let's take, take a break. A break.